Well, another heartbreaking story tonight. A brother and sister killed in a house fire. Marwan and Mik Michaela Miles were trapped inside the burning duplex. One child was found hiding in a closet. Jermont Terry talked to the kid's father. He is live on the city's northwest side with the latest. Jermont. Carol, throughout the day, people driving by this gutted duplex have slowed down and shook their heads in disbelief. It is hard for strangers to understand what happened here. So just imagine how the family and father feel tonight. Tonight, that father tells me there are no words to explain the pain of losing a son and daughter like this. Six-year-old Marwan Miles had just started the first grade at Engelberg Elementary. His big sister, Michaela, entered the fifth grade. Their father, Marvin Miles, tells me it was his job to come to the house every morning and walk them to the bus stop. But Friday, the father didn't get a chance to pick them up. Instead, a frantic call brought him to 91st and Allen off Brown Deer Road for his worst nightmare. They too young to die. A fire ripped through the duplex, trapping Marwan and Michaela. Their mother and her six-month-old child escaped, but the smoke and fire were too intense for her to get to her daughter and son. Even neighbors tried. We were trying to get in there to try to get them out of there, but we couldn't do nothing about that. Their father was too distraught to talk on camera, but this picture of the three of them at the county zoo is how he says he wants to remember Marwan and Michaela. He tells me the brother and sister were inseparable, adding Michaela always looked out for her younger brother, and it appears she did just that in their final hours. Unable to escape, they held each other. Firefighters found Marwan hiding in a closet. No one wants to lose their family. The father is going through pain, and the same applies for their mother, who barely got her and the baby out safely. I was the one that had to grab her. My daughter was the one that grabbed the little baby because she almost passed out. Now, the exact cause of this fire is still unknown tonight. The father tells me the void in his heart is big, but he will always remember his son and daughter and have those memories forever. Reporting live on the city's far northwest side, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. Yeah, they're watching over him in heaven. Thank you very much, Jermont.